to episode 2 of this series and we'll be solving some issues here we have on our city car repository so we'll go down to our city car repository on github and we'll go on our issues we have here and we're going to pick one issues here and fix so we are going to connect our, our android and ios app to firebase so i'm going to click on android connecting this to firebase so what's really firebase this is what firebase actually does it helps you build better apps improve your app quality and also grow your apps so now in the aspect of building better apps most of your apps you'll be building might need an authentication might need you to host them or might you need you to add some storage you, you you might need a storage which you don't need to go through all this process on building them yourself so that's where firebase comes in to help you firebase has this already prepared for for you by google and what you just do is for you to key into the sdk which it is provide for you you can key into the the firebase sdk software development kit and you actually start utilizing then you don't have to go through the traditional way of using some servers which you need to make some http requests to access the server from the server you get to maybe the storage or the cloud so that's what firebase does for you and in the part of improving your app quality you're going to see your crashlytics your performance monitoring and also a test lab there are some other features that firebase can provide in improving your apps and also you can grow your app in the, in the sense of analytics you can see the analytics of your app how many users are actually using your app remote config you can make um, real-time changes to your app you can make predictions a b testing cloud messaging dynamic links and in-app messaging so all of these we will try to add them to our app when the need arises so that's it so we'll try to connect our android app to firebase firstly we're going to go to fire google.firebase.google.com you're going to go here and also you go to console you click on go to console so click on go to console here it loads the page loading the page you're going to create a new project click on new project so our project name is city cab we're going to call it city cab call it city cab and continue we we want the google analytics which we had here the analytics we want that so we are going to continue and we'll select an account which is the default account for firebase and we'll create our project so i've created our firebase project here so wait for it to load so while waiting for that i have my emulator here turned on i'm actually using my read device which i'm mirroring with screen copy if you want me to make a tutorial for this you can leave it on the comment section of this um, project i have my projects open there which i have cloned from a project on github i've cloned there so you just do that so and what next you're going to do we have a firebase project created so we're going to open it and wait to load and here it is so we're going to connect our flutter app to firebase now get started by adding firebase to your app so you can add it for your ios apps you can add it for your android app so we are doing it for android we'll click on android and here are the configurations so firstly they will need your android package name also need a nickname which is optional also need a debug signing certificate which will not provide for now 
and it's optional so let's provide this so to get the package name of your app it's easy you can just go to android and go to app go to src which is source and main which is you go to me expand this android manifest.sml so you go there here is your package name so i've copied that and i'll go here and paste it okay so i'm going to give it a nickname city cab android and i'm going to register app click on register app so to say i should download the config file which we're going to add that to our our app folder which is here we're going to add that here so i'm going to download the google.services.json file so i'm going to download that wait for it it's downloaded i'm going to open it on my finder i'm going to move this file to our app file so yes we have added that and here it is so we have added that which is cool I'm going to collapse everything so we have added that to it and next we're going to next so we're going to add this to our, our build.gridle file on our android folder which is this so we are going to add it here we are going to copy this line of code and add it here so we have added that save and close the file and to collapse this and also i'll go back up then we're going to add this I'm going to copy this and add it to our, our build.gradle on our app folder open that and we add it at the top level of this okay we already have that so we we'll copy this copy this and paste it over here Here. save that and what next we're going to copy we're going to copy this and paste it over here and also we are going to copy the analytics so we can be getting analytics for our projects paste it over here and save that close and close collapse our android projects and go back click on next then we are going to continue to our console so let's run our project to see if it is connected if it runs you know it is connected if we got some errors you know it has not been connected so we're going to do that now i'm going to okay before we actually do that we're going to go to our popspec.yml file to add firebase plugin popspec.dev going to add firebase so we're going to add firebase core and we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it over here I'm going to go for to our pop spec the yml file and i'm going to paste it here firebase core and also we are going to we are going to add uh we're going to add fire store so we use it for a test cloud fire store we're going to copy that 
and also we add that this is responsible for the database part of it which is the NoSQL database okay everything is being added I'll go back and initialize this from up here and we're going to set our main which is actually our entry of this footer project which is the entry of our app so we're going to make this and a sync call on flutter bindings flutter rigid binding initialize call on that then we're going to await for that firebase dot initialize app so this actually We'll initialize our firebase for this and we'll ensure that this is initialized and let's run that by clicking on f5 if you're on mac os it's still f5 if you're on windows you can still use f5 and i'm going to click there i'm going to wait so it's actually running so it's going to take some time okay so i've gotten an error here which i wanted you guys to see and it's talking about dex archive so we are going to enable multi dex into our app so we are going to go for we'll go in our android folder in our app folder on the build griddle file we are going here to set our multi dex to true. We're going to add that and we are going to set that to true. We are going to save that and rerun our project. Close that and rerun it. Flutter project being connected to Firebase and everything is connected now. It was the cause of the multi dex to be enabled which we have set to true so if you've gotten that error you can fix that with enabling your multi dex so we can go back to our our city cloud repository so here is connect android app to firebase so we're going to create a branch for that so to create a branch for it so we can make a pull request so i'm going to show you how to make a pull request here so i'm going to collapse all of this so to make a pull request we are going to create a new branch because we cannot push everything to mark so i'm going to create a new branch so you can click here to create new branch i'm going to call this um, connect connect firebase android you need to save that you can go to your vision control system here and you see all the files that you have made changes to and i'll click here so we can see it in a hierarchy form so we have made changes to lib i'm going to click on the plus icon here to add that and stage it which is stage here for commits so that's our staging area and i'm going to add the build.gradle file and also add a build.gradle file for app i'm not going to add the google json you're going to create that yourself i'm going to add pop-up spec to yaml and think that's all that's all so i'm going to write a commit message here you can write a commit message here and also you can also type in your commit message here if you want but i'm going to do it from here so i'm going to add connected firebase to connected android to firebase so i'm going to commit that and it has been committed let's just push that in so we are going to push that so 
so we are going to wait to, for it to push so it has been push yet yeah, is so that I'm, we are going to create a pull request to it we're going to close this issue so to actually close an issue very easy on making a pull request you just go to and copy the issues tag which is the number here and you point it out here by saying close issue one and you create the pull request and we check if it can merge automatically and it can be merged and i've merged it okay it was successful so i'll go back to I'll go back to this so i want to make our develop branch to be to be the, the 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 default branch for this so i'm going to go to settings and i'll go to to branches and i'm going to change this to i'm going to switch this to develop and update that understand I'm going to go back now our default branches develop so we have connected you can see the commit here we have connected Android to Firebase connected all the five we have made changes to what I'm having in mind now is for us to showcase if the Firebase is connected or not so we are going to test our database in testing that we'll go to our database and enable it so you go to your firebase project and go to database fire store database and you create it so we we'll leave it on test mode and we are going to set the cloud location to be this this is the closest location to me i'm going to save that i'm going to enable that wait for some time and save that I'm going to make this anonymous function to be a sync and I'm going to call on firebase firestore instance collection I'm going to call it user and I'm going to add to that going to be a keeper addish adding I'm going to say my ID and the key is gonna be ID I'm going to save that and await function I'm going to wait for it if it works I'm going to print done save that so go to my debug console click on it done so it has actually sent to the send or reload this is so everything is working now for android so here we are done with this episode of adding firebase to our android project that's everything for android so have a nice day